Boom. Please, for the love of all creatures, great and small, throughout the multiverse, just move, move your mouse down to that button that says subscribe, click on it, life change. Everything from that point forward is going to be amazing. Thumbs up. Ring the bell. Let me know how ridiculous my last statement was. Or which one of these things you want. Because it's highly likely the things that I pull out of these will be for sale. I do make that disclaimer on every video because I do only collect a certain amount of things but you know just for the new people hit me up I do have an Instagram account again for the new people surprisingly enough it's God Ear Pops God Ear underscore Pops oh hey merch God Ear the God Ear I think that's what this is called if you search for the God Ear on Teespring Pretty sure that's where I got this. Uh, you can get one of these bad boys. We're not going to talk about all the stuff coming in because you guys already know. We're like we're doing back to back to back videos today, which is why I'm going to be wearing this for another video after this. We have stuff here. Um, we have win. We have purchase. We have purchase. We have purchase. This is the exciting non Funko related item that I was telling you guys about earlier. So this is going to be the first thing we open. It's very light. I'm really excited. Well, potentially excited. I could be extremely disappointed. Um, yeah, boom! KN95. Daily protective face mask. It comes in a Ziploc bag, too. Whew. Important. So we do have to wear masks at work, and uh, they're not super comfortable. I'm trying to find one that works with my glasses. The, the, I do have one that I've been wearing for a while, but I've been wearing it for like three months, and I wash it constantly. Obviously, that would be disgusting if I didn't. But the straps are about to pop off, and uh, and it's a two strap. One strap goes up this way, and one strap goes this way, which works okay because the upper strap you can slide your glasses in underneath it. Oh yeah, we were supposed to make this video shorter today. Let's see. Oh, sweet! This is what I look like at work good times it's what everybody it's so weird when people take off their masks for a little while you're like that's what you look like in real life you don't have a chin Merry Christmas <laughs> okay. I don't know if that didn't make any sense but alright so I'm happy those are comfortable they fit pretty good seems like my glasses kind of fit on them better alright that's a hit that's a grail right there we have the Spastic Collectibles Double Soda Golden Ticket, which is not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. And in here is a certificate telling me that I won something that's worth $2,000 at least. Pretty excited about that. And then we have this win. We'll open up the win. We're not going to open up this. And actually, wait, what did I decide? Oh, no, no. We're going to open up these two. In a different video. Grail Guru is right here. Win and spastic. But this is a Grail Guru box. $60 box. Guaranteed value 50 bucks. Grail Guru has been stepping up his game as far as higher end mystery boxes. I'm very excited about that. Um, I used to buy the hit and miss ones way like a year ago. And I kind of moved on from those smaller boxes I I like I don't 
I don't like buying a $25 guaranteed box and getting two $12.50 pops. Just doesn't do anything for me. I like the higher risk. Well, they're not even really risk because I get guaranteed value. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I like the higher end boxes. I like getting bigger pops. They're cool to see. They're cool to possess for a short amount of time. And they're easier to sell. That's the bottom line. It is. I don't remember if there was any glam shots for this box. I'm sure there was. And uh, he hasn't released any other boxes since this one. Which I hope he does this week because I'm ready. I got the money after Wednesday payday. Otherwise I'm just going to spend all my money on my car. Which is kind of fun. I haven't taken pride in car ownership for a while. I became very complacent about my old car. In fact, I'm actually going to go to the car wash and detail my car tomorrow. Boom. Grow Guru. He sets out multiple stickers. So we have multiple stickers. Alright, so what do we got in the box? We have... Feels like a large pop and a hard stack. It's my second hard stack in a row. It's not a pop armor. What is this? Okay, well, I'm really curious about what on earth this thing is. It's, it's a very. I mean, I guess it could be a two pack. I can get it out. That's what she said. It's not what she said ever. Well, it's not too bad. It's a couple pops. Um, oh, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, th this is staying with me. I'm very happy to have this in my possession. I do collect rock pops. But this is not going anywhere. Thank you very much. Hot Topic exclusive, Ozzy Osbourne. Good condition. I mean, it's a new pop. It's got the dumb. I don't know why they put these on there. You just have to peel them off. There's the back. There's Ozzy. What a kook. I love Sharon. His wife is amazing. Alright, so, bam. That's awesome. That's not very often we get a pop that we're going to keep. And we're keeping that one. And then... These are pop shield pop protectors, but he leaves the uh, film on them so that the pop protector itself doesn't get damaged, which is pretty cool. Boom. That's cool. So this is a shared sticker. Werewolf Bart. This is one that we did not get in the crazy frenzy of our NYCC lottery. What could be in the stack? I mean, these are relatively decent price pops. I can't... I don't understand what could be in the stack. So we got Werewolf Bart and Ozzy Osbourne. I love this pop. Sorry for my language, but I'm super excited to have that. All right, we'll be right back. Let's check out the value of these things. Okay, so the shared sticker Werewolf Bart is only worth twelve dollars. That's one of the lowest, lower price shared convention sticker pops I've ever seen. Especially for a convention that was just last year. Interesting. Be right back. And the Aussie. Estimated value 19 bucks. It's my weekend. I don't feel like counting on my fingers, so we just tap it in here. 31. Guaranteed value $50. 
So we have a hard stack in here that has to have a pop in it worth $19. I would think that something in a hard stack would be worth more than 19 So we might have got something really good. I'm going to take a little break. That's what I do when I have a hard stack. We, have, we always take the hard stack break. So psyched about this pop. To me, this is the big hit, because I'm keeping it. I mean, maybe that's like some crazy Batman or Joker or Batgirl I don't have. Probably not. But boom! That is awesome. So awesome. I like the Simpsons. Simpsons. I have one. Out of all these Batman and Batgirls, I have the Bartman. This is not staying in my collection, so... Somebody wants the werewolf Bart, hit me up. Be right back. Film off two brand new seven bucks pop pop shield pop protectors. Affiliate link down below if you need any high quality pop protectors. Buy them through that link. I get a little kick down. A little it doesn't cost any extra. They don't raise the price if you click through the affiliate link. Just up. Hello. I returned. Okay, so no time for you. I just took a nice half an hour break. I like to build up the anticipation. We have a hard stack. We have $19 to go to meet the value. I guess it could be No, it doesn't feel like an art series. I forgot about that for a second. Alright, so we got a hard stack. You ready? Alright, that's enough of anticipation. Boom! I think that's a pretty good hit. Amazing Carlos. This is one of the spastic plastics which I'm not sure what that is. There's a bunch of other ones and they all have value. Um, yeah, Amazing Carlos. He's got like a venomized tongue, which is weird. He's holding a gas can. He's got a racing helmet on. It is from the San Diego Comic Con. 3,000 piece, 2016, which is cool. 2016 Spastic Plastic Cool Pop Looks to be in Very good condition Let's look at the value we we broke even. We we hit our guaranteed value. What I don't understand is why is this in a hard stack? <laughs> this is a twenty dollar pop. I mean mostly I'm I I get it because what the fuck is amazing Carlos? What is spastic plastic? I think the Bone Daddy is spastic plastic. That's like one of the only spastic plastics that is worth a ton of money. But there's two variants of this. There's a black suit one and the blue suit one. They're both from the same convention. I'm guessing that the blue suit or the black suit one I can't read the writing on there. It has a smaller production, but I mean, this is a 3,000 piece. Weird. I don't know, guys. It's been a weird day. Some not so, like, some excitement, exciting moments. 
and then kind of a letdown. Um, the value on this thing just like in the last month and a half has gone way down. It used to be like consistently throughout 2020 it was a 40, 50, 30 dollar pop and just recently it's kind of taken some dumps I don't know but we did get a hard stack it's always nice to have a new hard stack it's good for shipping out the actual grails this is not a grail I mean this is barely worthy of a soft protector so I appreciate the hard stack it's nice So, not a bad box. We didn't lose any money. Really? I mean, we kind of did. But. but we got a hard stack. That's like worth five or six bucks. And the PPG on this is a little bit undervalued. I think this thing still holds $25 to $30 in value. I mean, it's a 3000 limited piece exclusive convention sticker I don't know who the hell this character is but it's cool and it's in mint condition so spastic plastic was Funko's line of original custom culture figures oh so this, these were the original Funko vinyl figure things and then they ended up making them into pops whatever so stay tuned for this we will see you later peace